Let me turn next to the president of the Economic and Social Council, the permanent representative of Pakistan, uh, Ambassador Munir Akram. Uh, Ambassador, COVID-19 has shown us the necessity of strong multilateral cooperation. And we're also at the start of the decade of action and delivery for the sustainable development goals, which come due in 2030. How has the Economic and Social Council dealt with these challenges to multilateralism? Thank you. Uh, thank you, Elizabeth. And thank you for, for that question. I think this, this year, the challenges which were facing the members of the Economic and Social Council were crystal clear. We faced an unprecedented pandemic, the most serious health, economic, and social crisis in the history of the United Nations. And I think that the, United, the ECOSOC has responded with clarity. First of all, we have to address the pandemic. Science has succeeded, but solidarity has so far failed. And we need to ensure equitable and early access to the vaccine to all the people of the world. The, the ECOSOC has convened a special meeting and we have listed several recommendations for action. Secondly, finance. The Secretary General has led informal consultations on financing uh, COVID recovery. The ECOSOC in its financing for development outcome document has captured the essence of the recommendations that are to be made and to be acted upon in financing for development. And thirdly, we have to look at the structural changes in the world which will be required to have a green and sustainable economy. And for that, we need investment in sustainable infrastructure, changes in trade, changes in technology regimes. And this is what we are working for as we speak. The SDI forum is meeting. We will have the Development Cooperation Forum later this week. And finally, in July, we will have the high-level political forum, which where we will try to capture the essence of the actions that the world community needs to take to respond to the challenges of uh, the COVID crisis, the SDG achievements, and climate change. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ambassador.